Hello traders at CMC Markets. This is Trevor Neal, analyst at RG Research. Today is the 5th of December, Tuesday the 5th of December, and I will be covering this move up in the dollar, short term move up in the dollar, and also the DAX. We will start by looking at an RG graph of the sterling cable, the euro and the Japanese yen versus the US dollar here in the middle. Uh, this is an hourly sampling here, so this is the last one current one, two, three, four, five hours of movement. And you can see all of the currencies are in the uh, lagging quadrant. That means uh, the dollar is uh, pushing up uh, at the expense of other currencies. And none of them in a particularly good position or shape. None of them flicking around to northeasterly or anything like that. So the current trend is continuing as I speak. Starting with the euro, this is an hourly chart of the euro and you can see that uh, the euro is going down on that steadiness of the dollar and it's doing so in waves, impulse, reaction, impulse, reaction, new impulse uh, yesterday on the 4th and now reaction which may be running out of steam as it reaches resistance. This is a typical of the behavior in a downtrend like this. When we have this reaction here, it lost steam at the previous low. So here's now the current low and uh, we're rallying and it looks to, as the first look of losing uh, momentum. The MACD, which is a lagging indicator, of course, is still negative, but the gap is closing quite sharply. Looking at the RSI, we can see it's rallied. It's rallied to 45, that it's corrected enough as it did do here, for example, it, it well above, went above 50, as it did do here, above 50 here, the rally is rather weak, so this is not a great setup. Maybe it's going to rally a bit further in the near term before turning down and resuming the longer term downtrend. The technical setup for it is not particularly attractive. Sterling is, is weak, but it uh, has found support at uh, this uh, previous low from uh, 30th November at uh, 126 and um, it's uh, come back tested it twice uh, yesterday and uh, bouncing a bit from it today. The um, MACD is negative so negative for the pound so strong for the dollar. Uh, the RSI has recovered again not enough in my opinion not up to the 50 level to make the trade particularly attractive it has bounced into resistance but it hasn't got the sort of concerted downtrend of the euro if it breaks the 126 level then i think we can say that it is going to be going lower again now the japanese yen again hourly and of course we're expressing this here this moving down here is the dollar weakening. Now here we have, I think, got a, a, a setup. Uh, we have been um, going up, that's the dollar going up, low, higher low, and so far higher low holding. Um, we uh, hit some resistance, pulled back, broke the resistance, and have consolidated around uh, the resistance at uh, 147.10. But it's breaking down now, and I can see the, the MACD is, as I speak, crossing over. The RS, RSI, which had got uh, nicely up to a, a quite a good reading of 80, is coming down quite rapidly here. So momentum is increasing on the downside. And on the stochastic, it is going down and the gap is widening here. Yes, we've got uh, uh, support um, around the 146.60 level centered on there, but it does look as though in the short term, uh, this one is going to go lower. Uh, then we'd have the resistance up here from uh, the last week. The, this one does look as though it's a uh, dollar turning down, yen turning up, and uh, that should extend. So I think of the three currencies we've got here, given that in the background we've got the steadying dollar, but they've got different shapes. And here on the yen, we've got different shape completely, and a, a rather an interesting setup for a pullback in the dollar against the yen. And finally, I wanted to talk about the, the German DAX. We've been in an uptrend here since the middle of last week, up a little bit of a pause, then a breakout gap opening up, pullback, rally, and then now, yesterday, a very flat day, losing momentum. So here we saw that the, the MACD on the hourly chart crossed on the, on the 28th, nearly crossed a couple, as the, we had the pullbacks, the reactions in the uptrend but didn't cross so good call there by the MACD but now the MACD has crossed and is turning down and the gap is widening 
also the RSI here, we've got a bearish divergence in the RSI. We've got lower highs in place here while we've got sideways trading here. So complete sucking away of the upside momentum here from the market. And the stochastic has given uh, a divergence and a sell signal as well. I thank you all very much indeed. I hope you find this useful and, and beneficial to you. I wish you a great day. And from me, Trevor Neal of ROG Research, may the trend be with you. Goodbye.